Hi all, a warm welcome to my channel. Myself, Dr. Shilpa Nimba, working as an assistant professor in Samhita and Siddhanta department. Today I will be giving you a brief introduction about Samhita and Siddhanta department. So friends, before that let us study about the Ayurveda little bit. Ayurveda is an ancient science of medicine. It is a special in respect that it is not only a medical science but an art of living in human beings. Ayurveda is an ancient medicine system of the India. It is said to have originated in India about 5000 years back. The word Ayurveda is a combination of two Sanskrit words that is Ayu meaning life and Veda meaning science. Thus Ayurveda literally means the science of life. The principle of object use of Ayurveda includes maintenance and promotion of health and prevention of disease and cure of sickness. So friends, let us see how Ayurveda has been originated. That is Ayurveda Avatarana. Mainly the knowledge of Ayurveda came from Lord Brahma. From Brahma, from Brahma the Ayurveda again Lord Brahma taught Ayurveda to Daksha Prajapati. Then Daksha Prajapati taught Ayurveda to Ashwini Kumaras. Then from Ashwini Kumaras to Lord Indra. And Lord Indra taught Ayurveda to Bharadvaja Maharshi. Then many sages come, come here. Many Sampradayas like Atreya Sampradaya, Dhanvantri Sampradaya. And many disciples come here. And the main three basic, you know, Brahatrays has been constructed here. That is, Charaka Samhita, Shushrut Samhita and Ashtanga Rudhaya. Ayurveda believes five basic elements of Panchamaha Bhutas that is space, air, fire, water, earth. So we can say Prithviyapa Teja Vayu Akasha. Manifest in the human body as a three basic humors known as three doshas that is Vata, Pitta and Kapha. So friends, now we see about Samhita and Siddhanta department. This is the first and most important department of Ayurveda, also known as basic principles. This department is concerned with basic principles of Ayurveda, which are described in classical text that is Ayurveda Samhitas. Siddhanta refers to the basic or fundamental principles. Basic principles of Ayurveda are fully fledged subjects of BAMS, that is Ayurveda Acharya course. There is a provision of doing MD in Ayurveda in basic principle also. And we can also do a PhD courses in Molika Siddhanta. This department connects to all three main examination of BAMS course with subjects like that is Sanskrit, Padartha Vidyana and Ayurveda Itihasa, Molika Siddhanta, Eum Ashtanga Rudhaya, Chiraka Samhita, Purvardha, and Uttaradha and these subjects are base of Ayurveda. All the important knowledge regarding Samhitas are given by Samhita Siddhanta department. So friends, so now we will see about the Brihatrais. As I said you earlier, there are three Brihatrais that is Chalaka Samhita, Shushar Samhita, Astangarudhaya. Okay, these are the three major texts of study the Ayurveda. The text written in those days would be in the form of sutras or some other rhyming literature which were termed as tantra or in the form of bhasha, commentary or the prose type which was termed as samhita. So friends let us study about Charaka Samhita. The Charaka Samhita is originally written by Acharya Agnivesha, redacted by Acharya Charaka and completed by Acharya Thridavala. The book preaches that the practice science should be done only after a complete knowledge of its theory and principle. It presents most of the theoretical aspect of Ayurveda and concentrate on the branch of Ayurveda called Kaya Chikitsa which includes diagnosis of disease along with the treatment aspect. Next, Shud Samhita. Shud Samhita is the main textbook of various surgical processes procedures. Acharya Shushruta has written the Shushrut Samhita. Shushruta was an expert in surgery and is also considered as the father of plastic surgery in the world. This text also describes accurate clinical examinations and diagnosis and six stages of disease development and pathogenesis. 
in panchakarma he has specially mentioned rakta mokshana and application of leech acharya shushuta was the first surgeon to practice the dead body dissection and also given the description of various structures like joints bones arteries veins nerves and organs etc the text has described many types of fractures of many varieties of bones along with various types of dislocations and burns in detail marma concept or vital area is the novel concept of acharya shushruta he has also described anorectal diseases like piles fistula and the treatment by kshara sutra and surgery next ashtanga rudhaya ashtanga rudhaya and ashtanga sangraha are the works of acharya vagpata the ayurvedic classics describes eight well developed clinical branches of ayurveda first one is the so we are also called it as the ashtanga ayurveda those are kaya chikitsa mainly about the medicine shalya tantra mainly about the surgery shalakya tantra mainly about the ent and ophthalmology kaumara bhrutya mainly about pediatrics and obstetrics agada tantra mainly about the toxicology bhuta vidya mainly about the psychiatry psychiatry rasayana that is rejuvenation therapy and the geriatrics next is the vajikarana that is the aphrodisiac the first year bms syllabus that relate to samhita siddhanta department first one is the padartha vidyana second one is the charaka samhita third one is the ashtanga rudhaya fourth one is the sanskrit and ayurveda itihasa padartha vidyana padartha vidyana means the science which deals with the substance in the universe its relationship with the living beings in terms of their properties functions and methods of understanding them next is the charaka samhita is a sanskrit text on ayurveda acharya charaka samhita is the oldest and the most authentic treatises on ayurveda and is the ancient medical science of india a comprehensive system of health care that dealt with both preventive and curative aspect next is the ashtanga rudhaya written by acharya vagpata as we saw earlier the ashtanga rudhaya that is the heart or the essence of all eight branches of ayurveda ayurveda itihasa the name itself indicates tells about the history of ayurveda thank you friends thank you for watching